Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't already seen my first impressions video of the Putterline hard plastic, I will put a link down in the description as well as at the end of this video. Also, if you haven't already, as always, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Thank you all so very much. Now, every week or so, a new uh, putter is uh, released in either the hard or soft plastic. Um, as I say, it's roughly about every week, don't know exact timetable, but there are several different molds now that are available uh, in the different uh, new putter line plastic. Um, actually up on the screen, you will see which ones are in hard and soft. They're coming at us fast and furious, so it's really hard to keep up. But these are what they are in at the time of this video. Now, when it comes to soft plastic, I don't know about you, but this is what I think of when I think of soft. Actually, that may have been a little too extreme. So for this video, we are going to be taking a look at that new Putterline soft plastic. And this is truly, truly going to be a first impressions video as I haven't even opened up the boxes yet. So with a little bit of editing magic, let's go ahead and take a look what's inside. Whoa, sweet, already done. All right, so first take, I know I mentioned before about the stamp. Absolutely love the new stamp. It is absolute fire. Discraft knocked it out of the park with the new design. So definitely like the rebranding there. I like the soft written across it. Makes it very easy to distinguish uh, versus uh, the other plastic types. And then also, um, so that way you don't mistake it with the hard line as well. Makes it very, very easy to read. Love it. Now, how about the feel? Because hey, that's what we're all here for. They feel really tacky. I know with the, the hard side, they feel great. Showed that even when wet, they were really nice and tacky, very grippy. Same thing here as well. A lot of nice grip to it. How flexible is it? Okay, it's got some flex. Very gummy. Very, very gummy on top. A little bit of flex. Now, with the hard, we heard, at least as internet rumors, that the hard was the stiffest. So, luckily, I do have two different colors here. So, let's see what the magnet's like. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's more taco, yeah. Um, definitely a difference. Wow. Uh, definitely a difference between the two there. Holy moly. Yeah, that is so much easier to taco. Wow. For players who like soft plastic, this stuff is gonna be right up your alley. Wow, this stuff, it feels good. Winter time, wet, it's gonna be great. If it's gonna be really hot and humid though, I might shy away from it, maybe go with the hard plastic, might get a little bit too gummy. But you know, the soft plastic is phasing out the X-Soft, so I wonder just how does it compare for flex, you know, that is actually very similar. Yeah, that's really similar to the flex of the uh, of the white. So very comparable there. Tackiness, they both feel great. If you like the X-Soft and you're worried about not liking the soft plastic, the new soft plastic, don't worry. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. You're gonna love it, I know it. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. Again, the big question about these is gonna be durability. They do have that higher price tag. Um, I think they retail for $11.99 at the uh, Discraft website. So the durability is going to be the biggest test I feel when it comes to these. And I will have that durability video coming out to you. I'm hoping within the next couple weeks, month at the latest, Mother Nature finally, finally showing us a ray of sunshine. Things are warming up, spring is in the air, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get the durability video out to you guys soon. Thank you all again so much. Until next time, keep banging them chains.